if that is not up you see here here so the service uh, in the mmc is not available so we cannot start the system now itself so let's see here see here that is only one service is available here remaining is in the so in the so it's which is in the blocked status blocked status means the service is not started here so that's why this is in the blocked status here so if you start this one who will start this one right ACS, ACS also we have to start it right so ACS is not getting started here see here ACS ECD 31 ACS is not getting started so especially for this type of issues so we need to check the work directory logs work directory logs here go to the ECD so ECD work directory in the work directory logs we need to troubleshoot it here what's happening with the my system so if you go to the so that is the acs acs right we have to go to the acs 31 so work directory here just check filter it out the timelines in which timelines this got error here so based on that so we need to check we need to check the dev underscore message server dev underscore nq so why it is not starting up so so here the work directory logs will be helpful will be helpful to us to troubleshoot the issues here otherwise in the windows the event weaver the event weaver logs event weaver logs are very useful here event weaver logs are very useful here to troubleshoot the issues here see here so this is a ECD so 31. There is an error here. What is that error? So there is a faulting the application SAP start SRV.exe file. So in the in the ACS exe in the ACS exe, so some something like something wrong here. Someone did the kernel upgrade or something. Why? Because exe means kernel. So something kernel got some issues here. That is the reason the kernel is getting failed here you can see here so this is also getting failed sap start a survey process all the time we got the this errors see here all the time we got the application errors application errors application errors we got it here so which means something wrong with the this sap start a survey process exe srv exe here that's why when you stop it when you start it it is getting stopped and after some time it is getting started after some time it is getting it's taking so time so much of time here so finally it got started automatically it got started automatically so it got started so it's taking some time why because there is a kernel so kernel issue after kernel upgrade only these services are taking longer time so which means the kernel upgrade how whatever we have done in this exe we are not done correctly here means the proper way we have not done it here so that is the reason so it's giving the error it's giving the error or maybe some bugs in the existing kernel either is our mistake or some mistake with the this kernel sap acs exe sap start srv process here so now this is available see here ecd this is available so let's start now So, so whenever I think we already discussed about the SAP starting and stopping procedures, right? So whenever you are starting the SAP, always we have to use the SID ADM user or the equivalent to the admin user, equivalent to the admin user to stop or start the SAP systems here. To start or stop the SAP systems here, we have to use the systems so if it is the windows if it is the windows we know right so mmc then sid right click stop and start in case if it is asking the user id and the password you need to provide the admin user id or sid adm user id we have to provide it password you have to provide it you need to restart it which is the linux which is the linux very simple commands switch to the linux switch to r switch r login with login with the sid adm user so then 
execute the then execute the stop SAP or so start SAP commands just to stop SAP start SAP again. So the order order of stopping or the starting is the first first we have to suppose when you are doing the stopping procedure when you are stopping first application servers we have to stop it application servers so then once the application servers are completed then ASCS instance then db so when we are starting the day this one just you can start the database then you can start the ASCS then you can start the app servers reverse order so this is the order so remember the order of starting the so these things here remember to start the order of starting these procedures and everything here so now let's log into the so system now let's log into the system now so always if any issues here in the windows event weaver event weaver will be helpful so to event viewer will be helpful to fix the troubleshoot the issues here so our work directory logs work directory logs will be helpful okay so go to the ecd system so yesterday we have initiated the our upgrade so triple zero client maybe ddic just why because a spam and saying we have to use the so these commands right so with triple zero client only we have to perform the spam update the add-ons and plugins update we have to use it here go to the spam and see where we are here so this is top right to here only import underscore proper phase only right so it got stopped just click on the import queue so i think phase one completed now import two is running so we have to start it from here just execute it so <clears throat> it will start the I just execute it so it is starting now it is getting started now so here import underscore proper is getting started here so through spam and saint so we can update or we can install the new add-ons here through spam we can update our existing components here right that is what we are doing here this is a refresh button if you keep on refreshing it will give the information here so here if you want to check the logs you can go to the action log here you can check the what is happening in this scenario here so where you are you are in the import underscore proper phase import underscore proper phase here import underscore proper here right import underscore proper is running now right so otherwise if you go to the trans directory log file here so oh, this is failing so this is getting failed import underscore proper is getting failed here so let's see what is the error here what is the error we are facing here so this is the q import q import so it is fine but so why in the spam in the spam you see so why it is you should not get it should not be this should not be the visible status here it means it's a enabled which means something wrong still it is working maybe what i can do i can start this in the dialog mode so preparation successfully completed import one successfully completed import two is failing import two is failing so if you start in the dialog mode it will give us some errors in the background mode we cannot get much just start in the dialog mode here you will see the errors here let's see so what is the error here otherwise just we can go to the trans directory yes sap trans trans so log folder in the log folder here we can find out the information in the log folder so here we can find out the latest log file you can refer it then you can see the errors here what is happening here okay so there is a tp step failure tp step failure here tp step failure so you can see the error we got the error saying that tp step failure so which means tp means stms stms so stms 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 so so what does it mean stms here so let's see whether stms is correctly configured or not why because 
while packages are importing, uh, the STMS should be active status. STMS should be active status here. So let's check whether STMS status here, S log. So S log is the very important here. So error stopping the error during the move name top here. Import queue system. Okay, let's see here. That's part of the name. So SQL error, invalid object name. So DDL, something like some invalid object names here. Something like some patch level issue, I guess. You can see the SQL error, invalid object name, current timestamp. So something wrong here, something wrong here. So let me, let me check some basic troubleshooting we'll do here, okay? So like STMS, first of all, whether STMS is configured correctly or not. So that is the one thing we have to do it here, right? One thing we have to do it now here in the system, okay? I think STMS is configured, so that is fine. The ECD we have, so there are the two patches we have here. You can see here, two patches that we have here, WebCUF, BSFND. So here, so this is, request will not be imported. Let me check, test import activation is successful, okay. Go back and check the TP system log here, means error logs. There is a stopping the error. Stopping error. You can see here stopping the error in the name tab. Okay, that is fine. So there is a, some errors with the dispatches or something. That's why we are getting this error here. Right? So which means is, this is okay. But here the only thing is ECP is not in the list here. ECP is not in the list. So but that's not a problem. Currently we are doing the ECD. So that is fine. ECD, we, that is fine. Let me check here. ECD to ECP, that is also fine. So everything is fine. <laughs> Let me go to spam once again. <clears throat> the patches also it's important. There is no issues here. Completed, completed. So here there are no issues here. Let me check the action log here. Why? Because we need to investigate all the areas here. So to troubleshoot the issue, why it got failed here. See here. So it got failed here. TP import all ECD. Bad situation, error situation occurred. Import the logs here. So there is a, some errors here. To import an error situation. So import display the detail log confirmation import and display proper. So there is a error here. There is a error here. So here you can see here error stopping an error during the move name tab summary. So the highest written code of eight tool used by the PP. Check directly, check directly, check store, then ECD file systems. Mem PSC, memory PSC container created. Okay. Reset the pin. Here we got the error. Here exit. PSC, mem PSC. So here we got the error. What I can do, let me retry once again. Let me retry once again. We will retry it here. Right. So what I can do, uh, maybe after yesterday's import, someone reset Q.
okay so this is running in the back end now so what i can do now <coughs> i will go to sm37 let's see are there any job is running here yeah the queue import job is running now queue import job is running now here queue import job is running now you can see here queue import job is running now so rsm starting the queue import job is running now so that is fine this is completed queue import job job finished okay queue import job finished here main tab so this is the last job ended correctly background job so something it is referring the one file you can see sap nm2 trans temp trans temp trans temp something yesterday we moved we did something wrongly here i think we deleted some files or something we deleted uh that causing the issue let me check here in the spam where it is getting stopped in the important store proper only now we need to fix the error then we have to move further we don't have any solution now So we need to set the related nodes here. Why it is getting failed? So this type of issues we may get. So see here, this type of issues. So how we are getting the issues here? So like this. Yes. What I can do here again, I will start in the dialog mode. But because in the dialog mode, we will get the some clues. Also, let's see, are there any dumps are generating in the system or not? ST22, are there any dumps? So today only one dump is generated. That is a different issue. Yesterday, okay, that is why. What about the status of the SM50? Yeah, okay, 344, four. okay, fine. Now SM50 is fine. So now we got the error. PP import. What's in the import paper? because it's rc8 it's rc12 we can find we can check our side issue it's rc12 so something wrong with the the patch sometimes syntax errors these errors we may get it out so but definitely there is a note that note i am searching where can i check the note So when we are in the import underscore proper step, 19th step. So total, 
they are the 30 steps in the spam 30 steps we go to 30 steps rs spam 30 we go the steps here yes total 30 steps in the rs spam so here in the 30 steps the 19th step is import underscore proper the 19th step is import underscore proper here so in the import underscore proper <coughs> so in the import underscore proper step here so once the once the this step is crossed the import underscore reached so then then system system cannot we cannot revert back the patches so make sure one important point is when the support pack when the spam status is in the import underscore proper phase so we cannot roll back the system now we cannot roll back or we cannot check what is the issue in the system we wish we can check it out but we cannot reset either we have to move forward only either we have to reset or we need to restore the system back to the previous version that is what we have to do it now so why because until then we cannot go ahead further now why because it's in the import underscore proper step it is the 19th step so total we have the 30 steps total in the spam in the spam when we are working on the spam we have the 30 steps make sure in the in this 19th step in the 19th step import underscore pap proper let me show you here spam 30 steps So you can see here total so we have so steps you can see here so clean up 27 i guess yes so here 27 steps total right these are the steps here so these are all steps we passed so it will go order wise the phase one import one completed import two import two module now we are in the import so which is the import underscore proper which is in the import underscore proper so it is the 19th step so in this phase, it will import the all the objects, repository objects, table objects. So it will be imported. So in this phase, we got stuck. In this phase, we got stuck. So once this is completed, remaining all are small. So only this phase is the very important. So up to 18, up to 18 steps, we can roll back. Means we can reset it. We can check it out. We can reset it. We can just go to the here. We can roll back so whatever you want we can do but when some re in a spam reached import underscore proper phase here we cannot do anything here that is the very important thing here so one of the important thing is when the uh, spam reached to the phase called the import underscore proper here we cannot do anything here so either we have to move forward or we need to restore it that's the thing here that is the thing we have to do it in the systems here so now either we have to take the decision what is the error message here now what is the error message now so let's set the error message here so that Reset the Q2 here. Yeah, you can see here, CP import all is really failed, the error situation here. So the details of the error here. The error situation found in the import logs here. Just expand this one. So TP to be written about 200. Let me search. Let me search in the Google 
So some related nodes we may get here. Related nodes we may get here. See here. So related nodes we got it here in the system. It's like some PP related error could not be opened. So so okay. PP output. Here is not reaching. So there is a issue with the PP only means transports transport this one see here here yeah, this is the one nine thirty four nine thirty four here nothing is there let me regenerate and recreate PMS here. STMS. Here, go to the ECP <coughs> TP system log, fine. So we need to check all the areas. All the areas, we have to cross check all those things here. This is opening. Then, PMS LX. LX, are there any critical LX here? So today only, you can see here. Profile read failed, read profile failed, communication failure. Mm -hmm. So then see here, bin could not be opened reading such file or directory. So there is a some issues here. You can see here, here. So this is the ECP, we can ignore it, but this is the, there is an issue in the ECD. So it's unable to trying to get something it's unable to read pp read profile parameter check mm -hmm. so something wrong in the system so that's why this patch is also not getting imported now q import So branch directory locks. So this troubleshooting locks are very important, guys. So we need to always carefully check. Yeah, it again failure. Important step proper. PP interface failure. I remember yesterday uh, something we did the some cleanup activity in the here or there some cleanup activity we have done it. I deleted or uh, some something we have done it. So that may be the reason, I guess. Let me. I think in the trans directory you deleted something. Yes, yes, yes. So that is the one or. 
it is referring this is the one SAP MMT. SAP MMT. Not this one. Some mount points. SAP-MMT, Trans Directory. So bin, the bin, TP import on, other executing the TP command. to not be open so do that to yourself so this is the one but this is nothing is there here so the empty trance is there here buffer is there okay this is this this is this And the back profile also there. What is the CD? CD profile? I don't know. Something someone renamed or something. ECD. This is a ECD. The old one, I guess. You can delete. Domain underscore CLT. ECD. But also there is a lot of things are there. Not square. Always this. Something I remember yesterday, we've done something here. Uh, that's what I just checking. Bin is okay now. Any jobs we have not suspended, right? Any jobs, all all jobs are running, right? And then let me go to SM thirty seven. SM thirty seven. There is a RDD, IMPDP job. So this should run. So this is running fine. See here, this is running fine today. Hmm. No, yeah, this is fine. No issues with the RDD and BDD job. So jobs, no issues. So STMS, STMS also. Yeah, we have no issues. It is displaying STMS also. So it is displaying STMS also. Then what next? So profiles, profiles also fine. Let's see, ECD, mm. ECG. What is this ECG? We don't have any system ECG, right? Yeah, something wrong here. Important for proper 
same, same, same here. Diamond update field due to the inactive main top existing machine number and switch the main top log extra dot log in the log directory in the trans directory. Okay, log you can find out the reason. Okay, okay, they are saying that check the logs in the trans directory. There is a starts with the n. Okay, this is the n star. Okay, main star log. Okay, here. So some index, okay, exit code zero executed, this is fine. Let's check one by one here. Yeah, this is the moving the main tab, this is the error. So let's check what is the error here. Yeah, two shadow main tab activations failed. Okay, two objects are, object activations are failed here. You see here? So two object activations are failed. Invalid object name. This is the one error. So this is the one error. So this is name top is not activated. This name tab is not activated. Okay. So here this name tab is not activated here. So for that one, so we have to go to SC16. From where we have to activate the this name tabs. So where we have the name tab. Okay. Not in the database level. Okay. So name tab. Name tab activation. We have to do that work. So first of all, activate. Activation of the is blocked. The software is blocked. Yeah, there is a force activate. There is a procedure actually. So that we have to do that one. Main tab activation. Now we got the solution. So this is the error. You see. So this is the error. And this is the error. So this one, this name tab is not activated. It's got inactivated here. So now we need to find out how to activate the name tab here. How to activate the name tab here. So uh, important score proper. Uh, how to activate this name tab. That is what we need to find out now. How to activate this main tab here? Otherwise, the moment is not be deleted. This is the SAP one. So this is the tables view crisis maintenance. We got the error, but we need to find out the how to activate this main tabs that is what we need to find out now how to activate main tab to the main tab database tables okay and activation of important software package is blocked What I will do, I will log in with the, the basis user. So if you want to drop out, you can drop out. I will fix this issue. So uh, 
No, I will need to check why. See here, during the software is blocked. We need to fix this error actually. You not found something wrong with this uh, object. Yesterday, we have a couple of issues, right? So maybe something wrong with the, this object. So I will check it out. Maybe if you want to drop out, you can drop out. Okay. I will fix the error. I will let you know. Why? Well, because we got the error now. So what is the issue? We know. Why? Well, because because of the this name tab issue. So because of this name tab issue. So the remaining steps are getting failed because of the name tab issue. So I will find out the way to activate this one. Okay. I will try to find out the way activation. Then after that, we can retry it. So this is the error. Now we can see this is the error. This is the name tab means database table, which we need to activate it, which we need to activate it here. So this we have to do that one. So I'll, I'm trying, I'm trying to find out the way to activate it. So uh, maybe it may take some time. You can drop out. So I will fix the error. Then I will let you know the screenshots. Okay.